Hello boys and girls, this is Miss Ridgeway again coming from Cumberland at Home Summer Edition. I'm excited to teach this lesson today because I really think that it's going to help you become a better reader and you're definitely going to get your confidence and you're going to have fun. So today we're working on high frequency words memory. So this is the instructions page, it's page 26 in your packet and the title is high frequency words memory. I let you have some time to find this in your packet. This has all the instructions on it, all the directions you're gonna need to be successful in playing this game and doing this lesson today. And right behind it, you'll find a high frequency word list. So I'll put that on top so you can see it. And it has 100 words on it, boys and girls. If you haven't read this list yet, you can start practicing at any time during the summer so that you can get a jump start on your learning. This summer is going to be great. Once you learn all 100 of these, I'm sure that before you know it, you'll be reading chapter books. All right, boys and girls, you got both of these pages ready? The second thing you're going to need today is your high frequency word pack. pack. It was flashcards in a Ziploc bag just like this. There are 100 cards in here. You're gonna need both packs. I'll give you some time to find those. Great job, boys and girls. All right, so what Miss Ridgeway did is that I took the packet and picked the first 20 words out of the card pack. Now, you may choose any words that you would like. So, either you're going to pick 20 cards or 25 cards out of one packet. Any 25, any 20 that you want. So, I just picked the first 20. I went to number one and I went to number 20 and I chose the first 20 in the packet of the cards. Go ahead and do that, boys and girls. Great job picking out your 20 or 25 words. Now you're gonna pick up the, the, the same, another Ziploc that has the cards in it just like this, and you're gonna pick the same cards. So the reason why Miss Ridgeway just did one through 20 because it was easy to go back in the pa second packet and just go to number one and stop at number 20. You could also stop at number 25 if you would like. 100. Just make sure you have the same words in both that you chose out of your packets, the same cards. So I have one through 20 out of one packet and one through 20 out of the other packet. Got those cards ready, those high frequency cards ready? I know you're counting away because I'm sure you guys are great mathematicians, so I'm sure you have it. So you either can have one through 20, you can have 20 through 40. Just make sure you have the same cards in both. All right, boys and girls. Now that you have your cards and you're ready to um, play this game, we are going to first take the two packs of cards that you had and mix them up. Mix them up a little bit. Have some fun. Mix it up. Have some fun. Mix it up. Even if you want to, you could put them on a table or the floor in front of you, drop them all down and mix them up like that. Just take your hands and mix them, mix them, mix them. Mix those cards, mix them, mix them, mix them. All right. Now, I'm still mixing. I love to mix up my cards. All right, boys and girls. Well, the name of our game is memory, right? So we're going to make sure that our brains stay on and that we're gonna be able to remember those high frequency words. We're also, the whole point is to practice reading the words, okay? So the first thing you're going to do is we have to make some space to make sure we have our memory game ready, right? So now that you've mixed up your cards, you can either have 50 cards total, you're gonna make sure that you have all of your rows even. If you have 50 cards, you're gonna make sure you have 10 rows with five cards in them. Now, if you have 40 cards like Miss Ridgeway, 
you're gonna make sure you have eight rows with five cards in them per row. All right, you ready to count with me? We're gonna start at the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five. So I have all five laid out here. Do you see all five of them? Awesome. You go ahead and get started with your cards. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep counting, make sure they're in a row. One, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, boys and girls, I'm super excited to play this game. So while we, the whole point of the game is to find a match. So a match means that you have two cards with the same word on it. Now, let's not get tricky and think that you can just keep putting them back. You gotta be able to read the words when you pick them up and put them back in the place where you found them. All right, boys and girls, so let's get started. All right, boys and girls, the thing about this game is that it's memory, right? So we have to remember where we found the word, right? And we have to remember to read the high frequency word. So boys and girls, let's get started. I'm gonna try my best to find a match. A match means it has to have the same word on the card. So try your very, 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 very best to read it. All right, so my first one is his. So I need to find a match that's his. I'm gonna put it back in the same place where it was and I'm gonna find his. Let's see if I can find a match. Uh-oh, is that his? No, that's as. So guess what? His and as don't match. So I have to put it back and I'm gonna turn it back over. Let's try again. And I'm gonna put that back there. And let's see, <gasps> that. Do and and that match? No. Not at all, so no match for me. Come on, I gotta use my memory. Let's see if I can find some matches, boys and girls. I'm gonna go way over here. I got close, there's they, it's not the, it has a Y at the end, they. I'm gonna put that back, let's see, let's see, which one should I choose? Let's go right here in the middle. His. I didn't remember that that was the card. Gotta use my memory. His and they do not match. All right. Oh, I forgot to flip them over. All righty, boys and girls. Let's try this one more time and let's hope that I get a match. His, that card I already picked up. And let's see. His. These two cards match, boys and girls. These are two high frequency words. So now that I got a match, I can take them out of the pile and put these two to the side. So boys and girls, you're going to do this more than once. Boys and girls, you are going to keep going until you find all of your matches. And it may take some time, but it's really gonna help you become a great reader. High frequency words are great words to put in your pocket and have so that you can be able to read them when you get to read your books and you get to read passages like we've read before. So I'm pretty sure that you're gonna enjoy this game and really learn some new words. And if you're up for a challenge, you can grab your index cards. See these index cards here? And you can write maybe some of the words that you already know, or you can go back to our game that we played before and find some of those function words or some of the other words that you saw there, um, action words, who, what, who words, what words, and put them on the cards and maybe see if you can match those words. It'll be a fun way to make up your own matching game. So boys and girls, boys and girls have a great day and you are going to be an awesome reader. I am sure of it. Bye.